After 10 days of negotiations, a deal finally sealed to give Pakistan a new government. A Pakistan People's Party. The Pakistan People's Party and the Muslim League Nawaz have enough numbers now and, God willing, now we'll be able to work on forming a government. With the help of Allah, we're now in a position to form a government. Shebaz Sharif, who was previously Prime Minister for 16 months until last August, will once again head the Cabinet. The Pakistan People's Party and the Muslim League N have generally ruled intermittently as rivals, but no party managed to secure an overall majority in the elections on February 8th. Topping the poll was former Prime Minister Imran Khan. But he was sentenced to decades in prison in the weeks running up to the polls in what he called politically motivated cases. There have been widespread accusations of vote rigging against the establishment parties. In the southeastern state of Sindh on Tuesday, thousands turned out in protest against the Pakistan People's Party, which stands accused of election fixing. We travelled 200 kilometres from Ghotki because, you know, the elections were massively rigged. No progress has been made in Pakistan in the last 15 years. We are protesting against the election rigging in Sindh and across Pakistan. We demand an investigation into who rigged the elections. With the new government replete with familiar faces, there's little sign of a new page being turned in Pakistani politics, suggesting Shebaz Sharif and his men will be facing popular anger from the very start.